Hi, this is Muhammad Imran. I am here with you with yet another video. Let's start the video. Uppsala University is one of the oldest and prestigious university in Sweden with the motto Truth through the grace of God and through nature. It has exceptional teacher to student ratio and high acceptance rate for the foreign students. In today's video, I will highlight eligibility criteria and application process of different teaching assistant, PID positions and postdoc positions at University of Uppsala. Let's start the video. When you search on the Google University of Uppsala, this tab will appear. You can uh, directly go to the PID studies. It will take you to the, this page. Here you can say that there are open PID positions. When you click on this tab, it will take us to this page. You can see that here are listed all the available PID position at University of Uppsala. So you can see that here is the first position is PID student with the, within the area of medical humanities, PID student in information systems, PID student in all edit uh, computational chemistry. Uh, you can see that the, the deadlines are also given uh, for the submission of the application. So these are the different PID positions available on the site of Uppsala University. Let's check one of the position. For example, I just uh, click on the PID student in all edit computational chemistry. Yeah, you can see that uh, on this page, they are briefly describe the duties which uh, a PID student have to perform if uh, he or she able to secure the position. And these are the main duties that you have to do. These are the requirement. You have to read between the lines to to get information about the requirement for submission of application. A competitive candidate should have been awarded a second cycle qualification, that is MPhil or master degree, have satisfied the requirement for the courses comprising at least 240 credits of which at least 60 credits were awarded in cycle, cycle second cycle, or has acquired essentially equivalent knowledge in some other way in Sweden or abroad possess very good oral and written proficiency in English. We are aware that not uh, many students have extensive undergraduate training, both in natural science domain and in the IT domain. In this PID project, we therefore expect the candidate to possess good knowledge in at least one of these areas, plus be interested in learning more in other fields through research projects itself and also through the PID courses. So these are the requirement for the candidate. Additional qualification, uh, it is highly desirable that candidate have studied undergraduate courses in chemistry, physics, or engineering equivalent at, to at least 30 HP. So these are the uh, employment uh, rules. So and uh, if you need any further information about any position, they have given the email address to the professor. You can directly contact to them. The last date to submit uh, the application is 15th of August. Here you can see the summary. This placement is at Department of Chemistry uh, and the type of employment is a full-time, temporary position longer than six months. It can be in case for the uh, three years, fixed salary, number of position one, working hour 100 percent, Uppsala town, country Uppsala, Sweden, 
and uh, if you want to submit the application uh, for any position I just uh, briefly be describe the criteria you will click on the apply for the position they will take to the uh, another tab they have a special uh, special portal to submit the application that is Warby recruitment system I have already registered you can register through your LinkedIn or Google or Facebook account by clicking on the create you can see that I have already uh, added my profile here uh, the first name, the surname, street, you have to write the address, then postal code, and city, and country, uh, you have to write the phone numbers. Now, you need, to, you need to upload two things which are very important. One of them is CV, another of them is cover letter. CV, uh, you have to make your CV according to the Europass because Sweden also accept the CV in Europa uh, format you have to briefly describe your uh, huh, yeah uh, the CV must be according to the timeline the latest to uh, to the oldest and the cover letter must describe why you want to apply for this position and uh, what are your academic or research background that uh, make you eligible for that position that is the, the, the you have to de describe the cover letter uh, in, in this way so the cover letter maybe consists of one uh, one page only so the, all the selection will be based on this CV and cover letter so there should be a strong cover letter and strong CV if you want to be enlisted uh, for uh, for the interview so when you add these uh, data you will simply uh, answer these questions these are the questions where did you see this ad diploma uh, you have to upload the diploma diploma means the latest degree you have you have to upload the uh, uh, degree and you have to upload the transcript with the with the back page also where the grading system is given if you have letter of recommendation you can uh, upload the letter of recommendation more documents if you have a relevant experience in terms of uh, uh, industrial work in terms of uh, any background that uh, help you to uh, or make you eligible candidate for that position you can upload on uh, here then by clicking on the I this tab you will submit the application this is a very easy way to submit the application so the PID vacancies are available at the site of Uppsala University so you can simply search the PID vacancy according to your academic or research background and you can apply accordingly as I have told you there is another important thing that is given on this site is teaching assistant or researcher or postdoc position when you click on the teaching assistant uh, it will provide you available teaching assistant uh, jobs now you can see that uh, there are two teaching assistant jobs are available at department of earth sciences and 18 teaching assistant jobs are available at department of uh, uh, our senses. These are the two different categories. Uh, application date is uh, 25th of uh, August. You can also check the postdoc position available at the site by clicking on this tab. You can see that there are numerous postdoc position are also available. Postdoc position in simulating and fitting of neutron scattering data postdoc position in references layer for neutron scattering research in bacteriology 
post acquisition in biochemistry of uh, cyanobacteria carbon dioxide fixation researcher in biochemistry two post in fabrication and characterization of josephson field effect transistor for quantum computing and again there are more uh, post acquisition are also available the uh, application process is same as i have told you earlier so this is uh, this is very good opportunity you should avail that opportunity so if you have any question you just uh, inbox me thank you so much best of luck allah hafiz